Hello everybody, my name is Chris, and welcome back to what maybe could be the final episode of Resident Evil Village. Holy shit, so last time, oh my god, we took out Heisenberg, that was crazy, we told him to n no, no, to teaming up with him to take out Miranda. Uh, then turns out we found out that Miranda herself infiltrated our home, pretended to be Mia, and... Basically, we don't we don't know what happened to the real Mia. Found out Chris Chris knew the whole time, uh, and that's why they shot the hell out of her a lot because they were trying to actually kill her. And then she ended up pretending to be a corpse uh, and ended up stealing Rose. And it was this whole thing from the very beginning. It's insane. Um, and Chris just didn't want us involved because he knew we would want to be. Obviously. And so, long story short, we took out Heisenberg, um, and then Mother Miranda, we tried to chest up to her, and that did not go well. She literally ripped Ethan's heart out of his chest and crushed it in her hand. And so, as far as we know, Ethan is dead. He's dead. And now, Chris and his team have taken up the task of hunting down Miranda and taking her out. So that's where we're picking up here. So let's let's see how this is gonna go. I assume we're outside the village slightly. Is that a helicopter? Oh everything's oh sh that's not a oh fuck. Got the mold on everything. The SAA. They've gone too far. Christ. It looks pretty rough down there. How are you planning on reaching the objective? First, we're gonna have to take that thing out. I've got your back, boss. Let's get to work. Uh, teamwork. Everyone watch for hostile bioweapons. Roger. What is yeah, the BSAA obviously they're here to stop Make the, contact with a group of hostile bio the whole thing, but Well I love I love having enough ammo to just do this. That's great. Um so the BSAA are here. They're clearly not doing a good job, so we're gonna have to take up the slack and actually do it right. Ah, I had a feeling Chris was a good dude the whole time. It was just like no time for explanations, and if he had explained, probably would have gone worse. Don't get caught. Oh shit! I got oh ammo drop. Oh, it's the chest. It's the the boxes. Resident Evil 7. Okay. Anything of interest over here? Alright, nah. Let's go straight in. Oh, Louise's house. Okay. I know where we are. That's insane. Oh, yeah, I was mispronouncing that horribly. God. Looks like trees, but it's it's the mold. It's infecting the entire area. Jesus. Oh God. Yeah, they got good weapons for this. I mean, compared to, like, the little pistol I got from the villager and some of the other shit that I just kind of found, yeah, of course, their weapons, in comparison, are so much better. Hey boss, it's me. I'm at the location prepared for support fire. Might be a minute. Roger. Tundra here. Leaving okay. some supplies in one of the houses, Captain. Oh my god. Help yourself. Damn, y'all, y'all the MVP. 
in here. Is this the house? Oh my god, they have night vision. That's fucking cool. Oh, this is sick, man. Oh, I hope we get to play more as Chris. I also kind of hope Ethan's not actually dead. Obviously, like, I have no reason to believe that. Other than the hope that this isn't the end of Ethan. But, we don't know. Heisenberg did say he had an interesting body. I wonder if that, uh, that means anything. Like, if Ethan has a power, he just doesn't know it. And it would explain why I can take, like, drills to the stomach and be okay with just a little bit of liquid on my arm. Or hand, more specifically. Y'all are out of your depth? Get out of here. Oh, it's a fucking big dude. Okay, do I have any other weapons? Oh, this is basically my best one. Ah, fuck you, dude. Chris has punched boulders. Okay. You guys are trash. So did the BSAA light this place on fire? Like, trying to burn it down, or... Or is this like Miranda? Curious. Just in case. Alright, god damn. I need to back up. I've reached the target location. Yeah. Okay, cool. Damn, this is big. All right, Ye Lobo. Marking the target. Lobo. Roger that, boss. Takes a minute to target the point. Try and keep the laser on it as long as you can. Okay. Bingo. All right. Nice. Airstrikes. Reloading now. Just a minute. This is small pity that way. Reloaded. Beep it just soon. I was like, can I switch to my weapon? Alright, you know it'd be really nice. I had a shotgun. Ah, oh, damn. There must be something stimulating. Fuck. Oh. Oh. guys are engaging the bio weapons. And you're right, Captain. They must be after the Mega My C2. How many are there? Everyone okay? We're coming from the door. Get out of here. Fuck. Fuck off. Oh. Alright. There's so many of them. Bioweapon numbers are increasing. We need to finish them off quick. Come on, come on, come on. Shoot the thing. Shoot the thing. Ah. Guys. Shoot it, shoot it, shoot it. Oh, it's so close. Okay, you know what? I can't. I can't deal with this. Y'all, y'all gonna... Do I have any grenades? I do. Cool. Ah, damn. Fuck off. Oh, 
think it's about to collapse. Hold your horses. I'm reading. Okay, one more. One more, hopefully. Get some ammo over here while that's while they're reloading. Good thing. Y'all y'all did come prepared and I appreciate that. Fuck off. Alright, big dude. Two big dudes. God damn, come on. We gotta, gotta, ah, gotta get some space. Alright, uh, gotta hit him with the. Let's blind him. And then give him a grenade. You're gonna get yours. Wanna reload, reload? Uh, oh my god, this is nuts! Okay. Die, 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 please. I am very busy right now. Thank you. Come on, come on, come on, come on, so close. Fucking arrow guy. Yes. <laughs> Take that. Good. Mega Mike's oh, nice. Okay, cool. It worked. Sick. Now. Reload this. Reload this. Go up this way. Maybe. No? Okay. Let's go around this way. Oh, I shit, we're down. I'm going in. The rest of you stay back. Yeah, Chris. I compared the mold at the village with a sample from the bakers, and uh, there's no sign of the genome editing we saw in the E series. The stuff originated here. The fuck? This is the origin of the mold. So the mold. So. Evelyn, all that, all that that happened in Louisiana came from here. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, okay. Guarding the mega mic seat, huh? Lobo, tough guy here. Oh my god. Boss, you're up the grid. There's an opening in the roof. Use it. Take my grenades, bitch. Ah, oh, God. God, this is a big dude. Okay, hopefully I have a couple of those still. So close. Yeah. Fuck this dude. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. Yeah, fuck off. Yeah, ah, oh, yeah. Those were some good, those were good hits. Ready when you are. Come on, come on, come on. Get him. Hold your horses. I'm reloading. Oh, 
this is going well. Oh, he's fucked up. Oh, we got him. Yes. Nice. I am still... I can't fucking believe it. This is... This is the origin of the mold. I wonder if this is... This is where... Where it all started. How did they get it out of here? So if Miranda was the fake Mia, where's the real one? I doubt she saw any further use for her. I don't get any of this. How did Miranda even know Rose exists? A moldy little bird told her, maybe? We can figure that out later. Focus on the plan. I, I really... It. It's the Mega My Seed. Oh, no. Oh god. Okay. It's disgusting. I hope Mia is alive. I believe that is completely what Mother Miranda would do. We'd take her out, but I hope not. Alpha the squad. I've located the Megamycete. So now we can end this mess after all. About damn time. That's disgusting. That's the source of all of this. And two explosives armed. There's enough there to blow the whole village sky high. Let's get out of here and blow the damn place. Not before I end Miranda. I'm not taking any more chances. I'm going in. Roger that. Standing oh, by. Oh shit. Captain, I have eyes on Miranda at the ceremony site. That's Keep disgusting. Your That's Do why the. Do not move until I give the order. This is the source of all now, of the mold. We really should have told Ethan the plan. There wasn't time. We didn't expect Miranda to act so soon. Even so, you should have told him. Yeah. Ethan probably still be alive. At least. Maybe. This must be Miranda's lab. Oh, shit. Is he fucking legit crazy? Oh, this is... It's actually themed. Interesting. Subject name, Salvatore Moreau. So that's his real name. Cadeau Affinity Low. Brain functions, surprisingly low. The... The Cadeau has caused drastic changes to internal organs, transforming them into organs similar to fish-like gills and a swim bladder. Another subject with irregular cell division causing to transform into a giant fish. The subject is unable to control this transformation. Too many defects. An unfit vessel for Eva. Eva? Is that what she's gonna... Is that who our daughter's gonna be reborn? That's the name. Better not. Okay, so this is okay. So this is gonna be how she made them. So Moreau really got shafted pretty bad. Ugh. Subject name: Alcina Dimitrescu. Cadeau affinity: most favorable. Brain functions: normal. Yeah, so she ended up actually working out. Uh, gen regeneration rate is incredibly fast. The subject can heal any external wound within seconds and grow her nails into claws in mere moments. Rapid regeneration also means an increased body size. That explains why she's almost 10 feet tall. <clears throat> Note, due to a hereditary blood disease, the subject must ingest human flesh and blood on a regular basis to maintain regeneration properties. So, that's why she's a vampire. Basically, uh, she has to actually eat human flesh and blood in order to maintain her regeneration. Hereditary blood disease. So it's in her family? Or because of the Cadeau? I don't know. I suspect that if the subject's regeneration is not properly balanced, then she may mutate uncontrollably. An unfit vessel for Ava. Eva or Eva? We'll find out, probably. <clears throat> That's interesting. 
So she actually has to keep her regeneration in check, otherwise she would mutate uncontrollably, probably turning into the thing that we ended up killing. Ooh, his book. These books are cool looking though, gotta say. Heisenberg. Carl Heisenberg. Godot affinity, incredibly favorable. Brain functions, normal. Has electric organs similar to the electric ray. Narc Japonica. These electric organs are connected to the subject's nervous system. Can therefore pass and control electricity through the entire body, allowing control of magnetic fields, which is used to move metal. Splendid specimen, but still an unfit vessel for Ava. I'm going to say Ava, unless they say it's Eva. I'm assuming it's going to be Eva because it's Eve, Evelyn, whatever. Um, interesting. So it wasn't so much magnetism as it was uh, he could control electricity and um, allowing him to manipulate magnetic fields. And that's how he was able to move all the metal and everything. That's fascinating. so sad. These guys got so boned. Subject name, Donna Beneviento. Cadeau affinity, favorable. So like, third in line. Brain functions, normal, although severe mental illness. Physically, she is no different from a regular human. However, she can secrete a signal-producing substance which controls plants infected by the mutamycete. S secrete a signal producing substance which controls plants infected she controls plants when humans absorb the pollen from a particular flower she can cause them to have hallucinations however she is mentally underdeveloped and has divided her cadeau among her dolls in order to control them from a distance an unfit vessel for ava okay so instead of her taking on the whole cadeau she had one cadeau and she actually separated it uh throughout all the dolls. Interesting. That's why they were all moving. Interesting. That's... Damn. I mean, we had to put him down, but it still sucks. Fuck, man. It's disgusting. Been using this to control the bioweapons. Can't kill it. So that's the how it grows. Oh, that must be Miranda. And her at one point daughter. Did she do experiments on her? I I just put it together. Is her daughter? Is her daughter Evelyn? From Resident Evil 7? Did she do the experiments on her, making her what she was? Oh my god, is that what that is? Oh my god! No way. My Eva. I'm gonna do Eva. I, I said one thing, I'm doing another thing. My Eva. It's been 100 years since I lost you to the Spanish flu. Holy shit. I was so powerless back then. But now, now I can bring you back to life from the Megamycete. Megamycete. Back to life. I had to test your new vessel's regenerative abilities. I took her apart and revived her in the Megamycete regulator. The giant's chalice. That's the thing we put all the, the uh, canisters, uh, the flasks of rose into. The giant's chalice. All that is left is to merge her with the Megamycete. The ceremony can finally begin. After I lost you, I was so stricken with grief that I wandered into a cave to die. I so wanted to be with you again, and that's when I found it. The Megamycete. Completely by accident. When I touched the black substance, my mind was overcome with knowledge. The Megamycete breaks down and absorbs the consciousness of those who have perished. I knew that if your consciousness was in there in there too, then there would be a way to bring you back. I just need the right vessel. When I returned to the village, I implanted the villagers with mold from the Megamycete. The way I 
that way I can control them, experiment on them. I have experimented on hundreds of people just to find the perfect vessel. I even tried to increase the efficiency of finding a vessel by creating a parasite I called Cadell. Yet none of my experiments came to fruition. There were some, like Elsina, who were close to being perfect, but most turned into lichens. I was once approached by an organization who said they would assist me. I gave them some of the mold in your DNA, but all they created was another defect. Evelyn. Then again, not a complete failure. I learned of Rose thanks to them, and knew she would be the perfect vessel. There was some interference, but I was able to verify her suitability. Now my research is finally complete. Eva, I've waited too long to see you again. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. So it's true. So Evelyn was... Uh, so Eva was her daughter. Eva was her actual daughter, and she, they, mm, she contacted some organization. We don't know who that organization is. It could be Umbrella. We don't know. Whoever Mia worked for and brought, uh, brought Evelyn here, or brought Evelyn to Louisiana, where they crashed. Um, what the hell? Holy shit. Is this Umbrella? There you are, Mother Miranda. So this is all, this is all. This is all just to bring her daughter back. We stumbled upon it by accident. And then ended up learning from it. So it's been here before even Mother Miranda. So this is like ancient, just which would make sense because all the symbols of Umbrella being on everything. How long has this been going on? Dear Miranda, my deepest apologies for not meeting you in person. I would love nothing more than to visit your quaint village once more. However, I'm incredibly busy. Then again... I suppose for an immortal woman such as yourself, you no longer remember this poor, half-dead medical student in the snow. <clears throat> I've always cherished the revelations I came to 15 years ago when I stayed in your village. I was inspired by your research to think one could transform a human by infecting them with an organism positively visionary. Oh shit. I knew that with that knowledge I could achieve my own vision for the next step in human evolution. Even after two world wars and humanity on the cusp of another, my conviction never wavered. I realize, however, through many nights of intellectual talks you and I shared, that your conviction differed from mine. You hoped to bring back a single dead person, while I aimed to change the world. Your experiments on the mold would not have aided me in my endeavor to achieve an exponential infection. I thought a virus would be more effective. That is why, my dear, I have to leave you. I still regret never telling you goodbye. My apologies for reminiscing. I actually have news that I thought might please you. I have found the key to evolution. The progenitor. The progenitor? A virus I found in Africa. I plan to start a company with friends and colleagues dedicated to the virus's research. I will call it Umbrella. Just like the symbol in the cave that we spoke about. I am one step closer to making my vision a reality. I hope you will be able to achieve your goal someday, too. You taught me so much, that for that I will be forever in your debt. Sincerely, your lifelong student, Oswell E. Spencer. Oh my god. So that's literally it. Umbrella was created because of this not by by having been the student with mother miranda's research uh oswell spencer literally thought that, or like had a totally different plan and instead of using like the parasite and the mold he actually got a virus 
and create an umbrella to study that virus and try to achieve their goal. Holy shit. Here. No way. Shit. Eh, I have I have ammo. Why am I why be delicate? Oh shit. Show me your hands. Umbrise, this is Alpha. Where is Miranda right now? Still the ceremony site. Whatever she's doing, she's staying put. God damn. It really is you. <laughs> she's alive. Oh my I'm god. You Thank me. God. Why are you here? I was caught in Houston experiments. Wait, did you say Mia? Mia Winters? In the flesh. What's the situation up there? Kind of a war going on. Nothing we can't handle. Don't get distracted. Stick to the mission. I'm headed to the ceremony site. Wait. You can't leave me here. You promised, damn it. You said that you would keep us safe. We did everything that you asked. We moved over here, everything! And I didn't care. So long as we were together. So you tell me, where is my husband? Where is my daughter? Ethan is... gone. I couldn't save him. But I can save Rose. Oh, shit. Come on. It's not safe here after all. What do you mean he's gone? He's dead. I'm sorry, Mia, but we have to leave. We have to destroy this village. No! You're wrong. I tried to keep this a secret, but... You don't understand how special he is. What? <gasps> what? <laughs> no fucking way. What? What's going on? How? <laughs> you don't have a heart. So it's there. What the fuck? Yeah, probably fucking is. Oh my god. How? How? What the fuck, dude? How did I get here? Yeah, I uh wanna know the same thing. God freeze. <sighs> this shit my body. Yeah. You're so dumb. Ellen? How are you here? You're dead. <laughs> Dead? Uh, I mean, Miranda. She. Uh, no. I still have to save Rose. Rose? <laughs> it wasn't Miranda. You were always dead. What are you saying? I can still. Uh, uh, uh. What? See? Miranda didn't kill you. You mean you didn't think it was weird? No matter how much you got hurt? Remember. Three years ago, the Baker House. You were murdered by Jack. 
You died there three years ago. That, that's that's impossible. No way. You shouldn't even be able to walk around. Quit messing with my head. You shouldn't be walking. Screw <laughs> you! What? What am I? I. I. I, I did all that. <laughs> Rose. Mia. I. At last, he awakes. Where am I? My carriage, Ethan. You were having a nightmare. Duke? Was it though? Your battle with Heisenberg was a sight to see. But to think Miranda would show herself. How long have I been out? Not long till dawn. Duke, I need a favor. Take me to Miranda. I assumed as much and I'm already on the way. We should arrive shortly. This guy. Thank you. <laughs> but Ethan, are you sure of this? Your body is, well, falling apart. <sighs> yes. Foolish of me to ask. It's been falling apart Speaking for a while. Foolish questions. Who or what are you? <laughs> Even I can't quite answer that. We're here. I owe you one. Mr. Winters, I'm afraid you can't return to your old world any longer. Are you ready? Yeah. I have to be. I gotta go. Oh shit. Alright. Okay, sorry, I needed a second. Uh, holy shit! We're Ethan again. Ethan's alive? Oh my god. How is he alive? He had his heart literally ripped out. And then, okay, oh god. So, Duke, he say, does he knew? How did he know? So many questions. Or, mm. Is that true, though? The dream with Evelyn? Was that real? Or, is Ethan's body actually completely mold? And that's how he can always heal? With just putting that, uh, the goop juice on it? Because that'd be crazy. Ugh. Out of my way. What the fuck? Bro, I I literally I think I'm still missing my heart, so I'm not having a great day right now. What the fuck? How is he alive? 
God, I'm sorry. I just don't have patience. I have been killed. Okay, both of you stay down. Holy shit. What the fuck is happening? Ava. My beautiful daughter. Come to me. Ava. Is that you? Oh, how I've missed you. What? <laughs> My power is leaving me! Rose! What? Miranda! Interesting. Your body certainly isn't normal. Give Rose to me! Now! You will see. Once I kill you properly, every- Get her now! Thank you, Miranda. I have spent a lifetime creating this moment. And you try to take it away from me. I will take what is due. My desires will be fulfilled! No. Rose is mine! What the fuck? That's about right. Oh God! You fulfilled your purpose, Mr. Winters. You were you disposed of my false children and this awakened is cool. the glorious. This is... Oh shit! Okay, this is badass though. Now please do not worry for little Rose. I assure you, I'll provide her with true peace. So now you can die in peace. Get away! Ah. Please, Mr. Winters, stop struggling. I will never stop struggle. I shall finish this. It's part of my charm. What is that? Ah. Oh my god. Can I crap? Oh, well. Is there is there hopefully maybe convenient? Ooh. Mm. All right, Miranda. Oh. How can you deny me? Why the hell can't oh god. You Rose is my Holy shit, is kid. that that's Not like from <laughs> fucking How lucky oh, damn it. to die before your child. Okay, now we're gonna try this again. And we're gonna do it right. Ah uh, little Ava. My beautiful daughter. You fulfilled your purpose, Mr. Winters. You disposed of my false children and awakened the glorious men of my seat. That's what this was about? Don't worry for little Rose. I assure you I'll provide her with true purpose. That's what this so was now about. So you can die peacefully and I had to kill your other children in order to awaken all of this. That was the entire thing. Oh, so gross. Damn. This is... Where the fuck are you? Uh. 
Ah, she looks like just like the final boss from Resident Evil 4. Ah. Damn it. Your time is up! Damn it. Now die! You fucked up, Miranda. I've never seen a human live without a spark. Are you sure you're not? Yeah, I'm not really sure what's going on, honestly. But you don't need to be alive. Oh shit. Yeah. Right. All it's done is drive you nuts. Oh god. Fucking fireballs. Ready for the shit that I'm about to release. Hold still. Come on. Uh, ow. After all, everyone dies. Come on, fuck you. Get over it. You're gonna die. <laughs> I can take any form I desire. Yeah, that was pretty personal, so that's that's part of why you're gonna die too. Fuck is she? Can I stop that? Okay, feel like I did. Okay, <laughs> this is bad. Now, Mr. Winters, I think it's time you left things in my house. Oh, the fuck? The hell I will! Die! 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 Crazy ass. I will take back my daughter! <laughs> oh, this is rough. I understand your feelings, Mr. Williams. No scope. If I combine Rose with a Megamycet, my daughter will be made manifest at last! I've waited a century. A century! For this yeah, it's not healthy. Like, I, I get it. I think this is the right way to do that. And by the right way, I mean don't do it at all. So close to death. She's my goddamn daughter, you psycho. Fight time. Damn it. Okay. Your life is over, Mr. Rickers. Why do you still fight? You are insufferable. I shall put you to rest. Right in their face. God. <laughs> Those words. They could do nothing to assuage my years of loneliness. Ever think the problem might be you, Miranda? You're not capable of real love. I will not let him or anyone else take Rose or my dog. How we do this shit? <laughs> die, 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 die! 
Okay, you crazy as fuck. Where are you? I will take back my daughter! How about this? For my daughter! How about no? Damn. My wish will come. I am going through ammo on you. You walking corpse. Even if I am. Curse this ram shackle. It. Die. Get over it, Miranda. Oh shit. This is how you end the murders. To ensure I never see your face again. Fuck you. Shit. Is it over? Oh my god. Rose! Shh. It's actually Rose. Okay. It's, it's alright, Rose. It's alright. The heck? No. Then wake up. What the hell? Oh, no. Chris, Serious? Ethan, you did it. It's finished. I think we've finished each other. Ethan, we gotta move. Oh shit, yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, that's... Holy shit. Keep moving, Ethan. There's a bomb ah. in that thing that'll blow this whole village sky high. Hey, look at me. When I hit this trigger, we can't be anywhere near it. Ah, damn it. Mia's waiting for you. She's alive, you hear me? Alive. Mia. I'm so sorry. I love you. Bros, safe. Hey, hey. Hey. And you tell yourself. Oh, come on, it's not that much further. Watch over. No. Teach her to be strong. God damn it. Goodbye, Rosemary. Ethan.
Go. Go, take us up now. Get moving. We have to get clear. No! We can't go! Not without my husband! Mia, sit down and strap in. Not before you tell me where Ethan is. I know he wouldn't abandon us. Tell me what's going on. Where? down. Where is he? Chris, what have you done? He's gone. That's right. He stayed so we could all escape. I'm sorry. Captain, you need to see this. BSAA didn't send soldiers. This is a bioweapon. The hell were they thinking? Orders, Captain. What? Pick up the rest of the squad. Plot a course for BSAA Europe HQ. What? Someone's got to pay. Oh my god, that's the end? Oh sh- Holy shit! Wow, so- That's so sad! So- So it was true, Ethan- Ethan was... Just completely mold. His entire body. Which is why when we destroyed, well, when we killed Miranda, and just every everything happened, it took him out too. That's so sad. I mean, that boss fight was was badass. I hope you I hope you guys like that too. Um, apologize for my god awful aim throughout this entire game. I feel like I did get a little better in, in the fight there, but it, it wasn't great. But either way, holy shit. So, so Rose is fine now. Rose is fine. We did it. We saved Rose. And Mia's okay. They're gonna be fine. Chris... Chris is probably gonna still take care of them. Um... Ah, uh, God. Ethan's gone? I don't want to believe that, but I... It's too... I don't know. I don't know. We'll see, obviously. So the whole plan was to take out her kids, the the four lords, um, in order to awaken the Mega Mycete. That was the whole thing. So that was part of the plan the whole time. That's so jacked up. Wow. And then Gifts we gave, Miranda's. The more you took, she snarled. So more in turn is due. In a blink, the girl was trapped inside a mirror. Her parents, though, had searched all day and at last arrived. With rampant rage, father fought the witch, while mother's loving touch shattered the dark enchantment. But the witch was strong, and father yelled, Save our daughter! So mother bore their child to safety as the forest was consumed. 
Even now, the burnt forest is a grim reminder of father's sacrifice. To this day, any child who stares too long into the charred wasteland will be haunted by nightmares of getting lost while picking berries. Hello, Monty. Fuck. God, just gotta hit me again with that shit. Oh, fucking Ethan. Dad of the fucking year. Holy shit. Took on, took on the, the big evil. Just to save his daughter. Gave up everything. Oh, God. But then, okay, so with Umbrella. Or not Umbrella. Okay, so we'll start there. Umbrella basically started here. So these these experiments were happening with with Miranda before Umbrella even existed. And then Spencer, the founder of Umbrella, came here and studied under her and then decided to find uh, or like he basically decided to create Umbrella and decided that uh, a virus that he found in Africa was the best, uh, was a better way than the parasite, the kado, and the mold, and thus starting Umbrella. Oh my god. Then, uh, then the BSAA sending in bioweapons? Not actual soldiers or backup, they actually sent in bioweapons. What is, for, what does that mean? Like, why is the BSA A doing that? There's oh my god, this just this started a whole fucking mess situation. It's happening all in the background that clearly nobody knows about. Even Chris didn't know. And the, and yeah, they're about to they're about to go over there because it's like is the BSAA now responsible for what's happening here? Not what's happening, but like they—they're using bioweapons, which is a big no-no. Like that's the whole thing. So that's a whole—that's a thing. The hell. And then, yeah, the fact that Ethan could live without his heart was nuts. Holy shit! He fought her without his actual heart. That's badass. Which, I mean, part of me hopes that it's like, he's fine. He's not fine, but he's alive. But, I just hope. But, holy crap. I don't know if there's anything after these credits. Maybe? Oy. Ah, what a ride. Holy shit. Seriously, what do you what do you guys think of this entire game and the story and with everything with uh, c connecting Evelyn and Ava and Rose and the mold connecting to Umbrella, which like the source of like everything spiraled off from this place, this village and Miranda's experiments is the source of. Everything. Well, it not, might not be the exact infection that Umbrella used. It started the story of Umbrella by sending Spencer to go off on his own, create the company, which then kind of shafted Raccoon City. And it's like, oh God, what's gonna come out? What's gonna come from that? Oh my God. Jeez. So if there if there is anything else at the end of the credits, I will add it in. Do you think the little boy will be able to touch the moon? Nobody can touch the moon, it's too far away. Wait, what if he has a rocket ship? Uh, okay, then he can touch it, but it'd be very, very cold. 
you were being silly. I don't <laughs> think the moon feels like a human. It does. <laughs> but Hey, Dad. Happy birthday. Sorry I missed last week. I have a lot of tests coming up. You know how it is. <laughs> Talk of the goddamn devil. Duty calls. I love you. Yeah, I found her. Where else? The day of all days. <clears throat> we have a situation. You're needed, <laughs> Evelyn. Don't you ever call me that again. Whoa, whoa, it's just a joke, Rose. I can show you things even Chris doesn't know I can do. <sighs> we have a clear shot. Stand down. I can handle it. She's just a kid. Way to keep it together, Rose. You're a lot like him, you know? I know. What? The father's story is now done. Holy shit, what? Best dad ever, goddamn right he is. Goddamn right. Nine hours. Bonuses. Content, movies, special weapons. Great. Mm. Yeah, let's do that. My God. And then it starts again. Holy shit, that was insane. I I was hoping there was gonna be an ending. I didn't expect one, but I was hoping there was. Wow, okay. Holy shit, first off, goddamn, my fucking heart and soul wrenched. God, it's so fucking sad. God damn it. Uh, Rose is grown up now. She's being watched by either Umbrella or the BSAA. We don't know who those guys were. They they were probably Chris's guys. The guy definitely, definitely gave me Wesker vibes. But that that's just, that's just a theory. A <laughs> keep theory. But uh, Rose does love her dad. And that's really sweet. And she goes out of her way every week to go see him or see his grave but she's basically being monitored all the time clearly and the guy said he had a shot which means they're quite literally always on her 
and she knows her power. And she's very strong. She looked just like them. Damn, it's so sad. And it says the father's story is done, so this is it. This was the last time we're gonna see Ethan. This is it. He's he's done. He's he did his he did his job and he stopped he stopped the mold. So the Mega Mice seat is done, taken out. She's the only one left with the power? Allegedly. Allegedly. Um, the fact that Umbrella's still operating is definitely quite curious. We don't know what that's about. Oh my god. Shit. What a ride. I already said that already, but it's like, wow, what a roller coaster. Holy shit. Like, Resident Evil 7 was, like, badass and it was cool. Like, this was, like, up a notch. This, this was not only fun to play. But it had the best mix of like action and tension. And it while I they probably would have been totally cool if they bumped up the scares. Um I I liked I liked the I like the blend that we got. For the fly. Uh oh God. So let me know what you think of everything. This finale about everyone the results of everything cuz holy shit i'm i'm going to be i'm going to be thinking on this game for quite a while and all the story cuz this this was awesome it was emotional it was sad but god damn it i loved it i loved every second of this game i'm going to play i'm probably going to play the shit out of this a whole lot easily ah God, so good. So thank you, everybody, so much for watching. The first official series on this channel is done. We did it. We completed it. It's Resident Evil Village. And I hope I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed some of it. Um, or any of it. Or all of it. Let me know. Um, and if you did, you know, consider giving the video a like. You know, I, I appreciate it, but... Let's me know that I'm doing the right thing. <laughs> um, and then, you know, consider consider subscribing because I am definitely, definitely doing more series after this. Literally, this was a big thing. We got got Final Fantasy Integrade happening after this. That's coming out soon. Doing that, I got Mass Effect, the trilogy. I've never played Mass Effect before, so I have literally no idea. About any of it other than Shepard is a thing um, so I got that uh, oh what else Assassin's Creed Valhalla been holding off on that for a while um, man a lot of a lot of a lot of games a lot of games games that I can't even remember right now Returnal that one's definitely happening I so excited to play that game <laughs> but I want I had so much focus in Resident Evil Village that I, I, I didn't want to bounce between the two right now. But now, now we're ready. And I hope you're ready. So thank you once again, everybody, so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.